Uh, hi, this video is just to outline how to calculate what's known as the average rate of return. So, in my opinion, this is different to the accounting rate of return. The accounting rate of return often includes, uh, or does not include, something like depreciation, whereas the ARR for average rate of return is much more simplified than that. Um, so, to calculate this uh, result uh, will be a percentage, as we can see, multiplied by 100. It's the total pro profit during the project's life, which is then divided by the number of years of the project, and the total of that is then divided by the initial amount invested. So let's have a look at an example. So here we have company Y is planning to undertake another project requiring initial investment of $400,000, and it's expected to generate $100,000, we'll call that net inflow or profit or whatever you want in year one, 200,000 in year two, 180,000 in year three, 120,000 in year four, and 100,000 in year five. So we're asked to calculate the average rate of return for the project. So firstly, because we have different amounts of inflow or income or profit, whatever you want to call it, each year, it's easiest to put this into a, a table. So we can see that starting at year zero, we have the 400,000 outflow. And then each year we have an increasing or decreasing fluctuating inflow and the cumulative flow as you can see eventually becomes positive and a mistake that's often made is that students simply just add all of the total inflows and think that is the total profit and forgetting to deduct the original investment so by using the cumulative cash flow you're not going to forget that we can see that over the course of five years, there's one, three, four, eighty, five, eighty, six, seven hundred thousand dollars in total inflow. However, the actual cumulative cumulative inflow or cumulative profit, if you want to call it, is only three hundred thousand dollars. So that three hundred thousand is the figure that we use to input into the total pro profit during the product's life. We have five years, and we know that the uh, original investment is 400,000. So we put those amounts into the formula. 300,000 divided by 5 will be 60,000 divided by 400,000. So 60,000 divided by 400,000. And we get an ARR for this example of 15%. Thank you.